Hi, Jackie Almer from JackieAlmer.com and today's balance and business tip is about how to find people to talk to. This is one of the biggest questions that's asked by people when they join a network marketing company. It's one of the biggest questions that I'm asked because a lot of people find me online because they know that I'm an online marketer as well as offline. And the reality of it is people are everywhere. I kind of marvel when I hear that question because I think, gosh, you know, if you're a living, breathing human, there are people everywhere. So the question really isn't how and where, um, where do you find people to talk to? It's, you know, who are you willing to talk to? That's really more of it. Now, I will tell you, I've said this before, I wouldn't be here today if I hadn't made my original warm market list of people who I know and started contacting them. Uh, built our biggest successful leg in our first business. That organization uh, went on to be well over 10,000 people. And that came from someone who I knew who quite frankly uh, would have been considered maybe on a chicken list because they were already six figure income earners and already doing quite well. So um, that's just one thing to keep in mind. So make your warm market list. You don't know who is out there who's looking. And the reality of it is, if somebody answers an ad in a newspaper, or you meet somebody at a chamber of commerce, or they find you online, whatever, all of those people have a warm market. And someone in their warm market is working a business that they would probably be interested in, uh, but nobody's notified them. So don't make the mistake of letting me sponsor those people on your warm market who go online looking for a business because their warm market contact, you didn't talk to them. So your warm market is certainly one way. While you're out and about, you meet people all the time, right? Um, and even kind of in an extended warm market. I know my daughter's uh, tennis group. I didn't know most of the parents, <clears throat> excuse me, from the tennis team, but I got to know them. and. You know, one thing leads to another when you're just basically a social person and you start asking questions of them, what do you do, et cetera, uh, what is it that they typically ask you right back? What do you do? So that's, you know, really what you're, that's what you're looking to accomplish right there. So lifestyling is you're out and about talking to people. You don't want to try and share your business right then and there. That's not the time or place but collect their information and call them back later. And then finally, networking groups. That's another way that I go about it. I really use those three approaches, um, as well as social media. I'll get to that. I guess I actually have four, but um, you know, networking groups are great. I'm actually dressed today because I'm headed out right after I make this video. I'm headed out to a networking lunch uh, to meet with other business owners, to share a little bit of my business, to learn about their business, and see how we might partner together in some way to create mutual business for each other. Remember, it's a give to give and through that you will gain through networking events. I mean, that's a great way. And again, the time to share your business with them is not right there at the event. The time to share your business with them is after the fact. So you want to collect a business card, get to know them as best you can, ask as many questions, make some notes on the business card if you can, and don't give them your business card unless they ask for it. That's a whole nother training session. And then finally, of course, I use social networking. I can reconnect with people from my past on Facebook. I find business professionals in my local area even on LinkedIn. Um, I use those, those different methods to network and get to know people who might be right for my product or might be right for my business. Um, so the business to business approach can be very effective as well. So that's really it. Don't get bogged down in you know how, how and where do you find people to talk to. The question to ask is, who am I willing to talk to? And, and then finally, you know, what am I willing to do to achieve the goals that I want? So it's Jackie Elmer, JackieElmer.com. Hope that helps you get out and find some people to talk to.